How to play Roblox on the PlayStation. Roblox just released on the PlayStation 5 and 4 for anyone to play. First step is to go into the store and actually download the game. And this game actually downloads really quickly, which honestly I was completely surprised about. The trailers for Roblox on the PlayStation feature a bunch of random games that honestly I had never heard of before. It literally took me 30 seconds for this game to download, and I don't really know how. Once you finish downloading it, literally just press play game. Then you'll get the classic which will say to sign up or log in. Now here you just go and create an account if you don't have one already. Or if you already have a Roblox account, you can go and log into it on different devices. So say you typically play it on your phone, you can then go and log into it on the PlayStation. Just don't log into both at the same time. Once you've gone and done all of that, you can then go and start playing your favorite games. This is Adopt Me on the PlayStation. It is slightly different. Now the game is slightly broken because because they haven't gone and customized it for the PlayStation yet. You might be seeing buttons at the bottom saying why, when on a PlayStation controller there is only a triangle, a square, a circle, and an X. And the Roblox game is trying to tell you to use all of these other buttons, which means it's not fully compatible as of just yet. Yes, you can still play Adopt Me, but it is very confusing how this works. This right here is a little cursor, I believe it will always stay here. But the game is telling me to press buttons that don't exist to try and leave the editing setting, which honestly was such a faff to try and figure out. I button mashed everything. I pressed every key possible. I tried every single thing you could possibly think of, but considering the fact that the PlayStation doesn't have a B button, you can't go and back out of it. Now I tried the button that replicates beyond the PlayStation, but I think there is still a little bit of wiggle room on what Adopt Me or Roblox needs to do to make sure this is compatible. Now since Roblox did just literally release on the PlayStation as of today, these are some things that I'm sure all of these games are eventually going to go and fix, as they've never had to consider the fact that the PlayStation would be a possibility until now. As for the controls of playing Roblox on the PlayStation, this is what it says. R2 is the use tool, the options button is apparently the Roblox menu, circle is back, um, jump is X, rotate camera is this analog stick, or you can push the analog stick in to zoom in, and then to navigate the menus you use the up, left, down, and right, and to move you use the left analog stick. And apparently the game menu toggle is by pressing the touchpad in the middle, and you can switch tools by clicking L1 and R1. I don't know what L2 does, that one apparently it does nothing. Then there's also these options to press triangle while in the settings to reset your character, square to leave the game or circle to resume. So that is how the game works in terms of the controllers for playing the Roblox game. After a little bit of messing around, I did finally able to uh, exit out of it. Honestly, I couldn't tell you what button I pushed, but I have now exited out and uh, we're gonna go and test out some features, starting off with trading. This person, I believe, sent me a trade request and it kind of glows up for what you're gonna click on. So I actually have um, no pets yet. So there's literally nothing I could physically trade, but it's interesting that the whole thing that you're about to click on glows in a big blue square, something I wasn't expecting. Maybe it's like that on Xbox. Very, very strange. Now to go and activate your menu on the right hand side, I believe you need to enter by pressing the touchpad. If you wanna click on the icon on the left, you use the left arrow. It kind of explains what button you need to push next to it, but the button doesn't always correlate since we're on PlayStation. So we actually need to go and follow the tutorial. Uh, welcome to the nursery. Yes, we're gonna try and get the starter egg and hatch it and find out how difficult is it to actually play Adopt Me on the PlayStation and try and actually complete this for myself. So I'm going and recording this using PlayStation's factory. That's the only way I can do it. I have to do the voiceover afterwards. Hence why there is no PlayStation controller in my hands. I was the person playing the game, however. So it does go and do these strange things where the screen will blank out and then it will just highlight a certain area. Like, honestly, I don't know why. 
again, as I said, this is probably going to eventually get fixed. Um, it's trying to get me to click on the Halloween stand. You click on it by pressing the arrow, then you can exit out of it. But all of these buttons aren't quite how they're meant to. Your egg is hungry, give them some food. So what we're going to try and do is actually feed our pet. So you can simply click on it and uh, the icon somehow works that time. Um, so this small little dot will forever always be in the same spot. So you just got to change where you're facing. There's not like a cursor where you can click and point your pointer will always be in the same location. So that means if you do want to go up to someone and trade, you have to go and match this circle up with the player's username, and then you will see it to start to light up, and then you could go and click on them, for example, to go and trade them. This does mean if you're walking past a large swarm of players, that it is slightly difficult to try and click on what you are after since they kind of take up all of the clicking buttons. Now I just grabbed a hat. I just grabbed a hairdryer, which honestly I didn't even know was an item. Maybe it's just a roleplay item, but I've got no idea what it does or how it works. But it says to press B when, as I previously stated, there is no B button on a PlayStation control. I'm not sure if this is Adopt Me's design or the PlayStation's design. You'd think that they might need to go and fix that, but I'm sure eventually will. The game is still fully functional this takes a little a little bit of extra hard work so we're gonna go and dye our egg blue because we can because we just had to go to the hair salon to try and hatch this thing open which means we only got one task left and now I'm just being a nuisance by trying to spray paint others pets but I think they removed that feature like when the, when it first came out you could spray paint other pets and I'm pretty sure annoyed everyone hence why they removed it so this is how all of the trading system works. It's pretty much the same. It just lights up though. So it's it's practically the same as regular Adopt Me, but all of the buttons obviously slightly different. We can spectate on the person's trade. Uh, that was a bad trade. I'm so I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have accepted that one. Tile skip. We could play tile skip. I I, I kind of like how it glows up. You definitely know what you're going to click on. So to hatch my egg, I need to go and do one more task, which is actually to give it a drink. And I didn't have any lemonade for once, which means I bought a cup of tea because I'm British. All of you guys forget I'm British and we love a cup of tea. I actually don't love tea, but sure. So I press the analog stick in to go and zoom in. Pretty handy feature. And we're going to hatch a blue dog, obviously, because if the egg's blue. I'm joking, you can't actually hatch a blue dog. There we go, we just hatched a regular dog out of this egg. Very cool. And then obviously you can exit, you can press a reset character to go and go back to your house. Pretty easy way to go and do it. And literally everyone doesn't use that teleport home thing, they just go and use the reset character. Saves your Robux. And there you go, that's how you play Adopt Me on the PlayStation. Let me know if you have a PlayStation and you plan on using it. For builders, um, I think it's practically impossible to build at the moment. I try to click every single button on how to go and move these things, how to scale them. I try to click everything, but unfortunately, it literally did nothing. Honestly, it, it wouldn't work whatsoever. And again, I couldn't escape out of the editing settings. So hopefully that does get fixed. All these games are going to eventually adapt to be more PlayStation suitable. But let us know if you're planning on playing Roblox on the PlayStation in the comments. You need to click here to watch the last to leave the circle in Adopt Me wins the dream pet for free. This video took me so long and I think you'll love it so watch it now.